दीवारों पर अपने रंग लहराने दो वेलकम बैक आई एम योर विद तेजल पटनी एंड सुषमा रेड्डी डिस्कसिंग स्टाइल हाउ डू डिफाइन योर पर्सनल स्टाइल माय पर्सनल स्टाइल इज वेरी लेड बैक आई डोंट केयर फॉर ट्रेंड्स एंड व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन व्हाट्स हॉट एंड व्हाट्स नॉट आई नो व्हाट आई स्टॉप स्टॉप टू मच टू मच बट आई आई थिंक सर्टेन क्लोथ्स फ्लैटर मी and i think my style is very easy going it's a very laid back style it's more street and i look good in two extremes so i have two separate wardrobes literally one is full of elegant clothes the other is full of my regular street wear and i like wearing really low hipsters um you know funky street pants uh with a body like this you should <laughs> surprisingly it's all covered up most of the time really yeah but why <laughs> But so you can look elegant and you can look very casual and chic. Sure. But you hate retro clothes, no? You hate things like uh, dresses and no, frocks and. No, I love. And... I love uh, wearing dresses because they're very, very feminine mm -hmm. and they look again elegant. But I think that you need a certain kind of attitude to carry off retro, and uh, I possibly don't have it. I'm a very gunji, you know, loose pants, uh, trousers, linen. uh low hipsters army pants kind of person so this is a great take for the audience because if you are slim and fit and pretty as sushma is anything looks good and even if you're grungy it becomes a style statement what's your personal style when i say i'm quite a workaholic so most of the time i'm just in my workwear just casual and this is quite my workwear what i'm wearing today as well yeah, absolutely so it would be a uh, comfortable beauty comfort Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Me too. I would, I would second that. It's yeah. comfort all the way. You just did a film, right? Sure. Tell yeah. us about the film. Ah, uh, it's a film called Cha Cha Cha. It's directed by Shiv Subramaniam. This was adapted from his own play, Irani Cafe. Okay. And this is uh, a film for uh, Mr. Jamu Sugan, and it was great fun because they took the entire theatre cast and put them in the film, and I was just called in to test, and I'm like me. And they're like, yeah, yeah, come in, and I got the part. It was great fun. We were in Goa for about a month and a half. What fun! Goa is the lovely It's place. I mean, you bliss. can be there for. So you learned direction in New York. I mean, I you did. were there in New York, and you were learning did. film direction, and now you've gone into acting. Right. Direction you do it after. थोड़ी देर के बाद करना हाँ. थोड़ी देर के बाद. Because I have to become a director, so I don't want too much competition around. <laughs> and a big one at that. So. You mean in age? No. <laughs> <laughs> But so now it's going to be acting for a few years. It is going to be because actually, uh, you know, I call it kismat or fate. I entered modeling very reluctantly. I was a reluctant VJ because I never wanted to be one and I never <laughs> wanted to be a Bollywood actress. But but then as they say, you know, things are fated in a yeah, certain way. Space, yeah. And I mean, you keep sort of fighting it, but then it just keeps coming to you. So I thought, okay, you know, I'm going to like take like two two directions, start assisting. I've done my course. And I came back uh, to Bombay and I just got this film in my lap. So it's just sort of it just finds its own So Tejal, I, I hope you got that that whatever she's reluctant to do You know she does a great job of. You are always surrounded by girls. Do you have lots of girlfriends everywhere? He does. He just not, not really, telling us man. about I'm them. I'm alone. Really? <laughs> But you do a lot of international campaigns. You also did the uh, Wrangler right, right. campaign recently and you did a great job of it. So uh do you sometimes uh, miss being in India and you know meeting a lot of Indians here or you enjoy traveling and Probably uh I belong to Dubai but I hardly live there. I find myself traveling more often to India, more often to Cape Town. And what about Bollywood? There was a time when you did some a lot of work for Bollywood. Actually, yeah, you I also did, did the stills for Dil Chahta Hai. Right. And uh, after that, any film that you've done? I did uh, David Dhawan's uh, Ham Kisi Se Kam Nahi. Okay. Then I did uh, Kamal Hassan's Abhay. Uh huh. Yeah. Then I think they all really got bored of me. So no, it was goodbye. You, so you do you like Bollywood? I mean, you would oh, like to shoot Bollywood. for Absolutely. a lot of movies. And so you do you watch a lot of Hindi films? Oh yeah. Yeah? yeah. How would you unwind? Listen to music, party. Watch? I watch a whole lot of movies, and I'm I'm a very pop sort of a guy. I uh -huh. really love probably hang out with friends and just grab a drink or so. But you're not such a party person. You'd rather not be in a club or a. No, I'm not. No. I'm not. No. But even you're not a very clubby person. Never, no, I'm never not. got into even in a lounge or at a bar. And... It actually makes me uh, smile because you know when you read media, I mean, just like Manish is a big page three person. You know that. So. <laughs> Then, sure. uh, then when you read media uh, news, and everyone always has this image that you know that like all models do is go out and party all yeah. night long, with the kind of timings that we're talking about, with the kind of hours, 
with you know with the so-called beauty sleep and you can't afford to look worn down or worn out yeah. there is no time to go out yeah. honestly i find it tough to keep privacy intact and go out and kind of do your own sure. thing because these days i think it's gotten even worse where if you sneeze in public it's in the papers the next day so that gives you so much time to learn acupuncture japanese yes it does um then you you're there for the animal rights yes. you do a lot for that and social service that you're doing uh, is that for yeah actually um i have been more involved than ever in the last one year because my mother does a lot of work with the uh, ngos and i think you know somewhere it's becoming more and more apparent that if you have a certain amount of let's say media standing or if you speak and if media listens then you need to be saying something that's very very positive and constructive and sort of back it up and i got a bit sick of you know people calling um us for events for for like various ngos where you come in just as a public face and there's no follow up and there's no work to like back it up so i got really frustrated and since the last one year i've been working very actively with my mom with like certain ngos i'm i'm just appalled because we actually have a lot of angel donors in uh, in india people who have no celebrity standing but they donate so generously yeah. and i'm just appalled that celebrities don't, don't do, do more it, yeah. that's right for causes with your glamour intelligence and you doing so many things in <laughs> multifaceted talent you should be having a string I'm of guys blushing. behind you don't you think so what well, is flattering me with this long queue but there's no queue it's just this image problem that people have and I think especially indian men indian men uh without s- slamming them because i'm really really fond of them i think i think indian Thank men you. rule they're handsome <laughs> and they're attractive and they're all there and they're wonderful and they're just you know indian boys and they're lovely but there is this mindset you know like when they think model actress or whatever they get so intimidated psyched, mm-hmm. yeah that even even if they want to talk to you they don't come up to you they don't even like you know shake your hand and that creates quite a problem so is there any kind of campaign that you are most excited doing i mean is it um, besides fashion i mean of course you are a very very well known you know fashion photographer but something besides fashion that you like to shoot anything to do with people manish it's yeah. more yeah because i mean living in india or being in india we do practice fashion but i think it's still very rare you know that's right when i say that yeah so anything that's really good looking in terms of not good looking people only but good looking good looking to my eye is something i really love to shoot do you always have the camera with you if you're like in traveling in a car or something you like okay that's nice no, i should be on that one that actually yeah, no. yeah i don't travel with my camera on a holiday for instance i don't to take a complete break yeah absolutely let me say yeah. something interesting about tejal is yeah. uh, to me tejal has the quintessential international eye and i can see that about all this work because i saw one of our common friends folios and i just saw this and i said okay tejal not tejal tejal not tejal because his work has its own brand and its own sort of quality and it stands out yeah i think you know this uh, fashion photographers who shoot fashion the best i mean i i noticed that she's absolutely right on that thank you very much if you were not a photographer or today you are a photographer is there something else you want to do um besides yeah, i love music to a great uh, level do you play some instrument yeah, i do i play tabla really yeah so okay. i would have definitely been uh, one below zakir san ah. <laughs> so zakir san is lucky that you got into fashion photography 